Mother. It's me, and right here beside you. You know, this is the first time we've had to ourselves. This place has uh, been like a lobby at the Towers Hotel. It's so many people have been in and out. <clears throat> well, that's an exaggeration. But, I mean, a lot of people were here. Uh, Bill and Billy and um, Jenna and Buzz and a lot of the Lewises. And Nola. <sighs> you have so many people who care about you. So I wish that you would just stop all of this. <laughs> and just come back. I mean, I know you need your beauty sleep. But this is ridiculous now, don't you think? Any change? No. Oh, my God, Matt, seeing her hooked up on machines like this and breathing for her. I know. I know. I just, uh... I looked in on your kid sister again. <laughs> Can't stay away from her, huh? Uh, not for too long. One of the nurses says she'd never seen a, a premature baby that strong before. Well, she's my mother's daughter, right? Right. And you're certainly being one of the tough guys. Oh, yeah. I know she's gonna be all right, you know. I just, my mother and the baby, they're both gonna be fine. I just want you to believe that, okay? I'm trying. So, I made a lot of mistakes during my life, but that sort of thing doesn't go over very big anymore. Why are Matt and Dinah getting married? It's obvious they don't love each other. I think maybe I made a mistake bringing you here. I mean, you've decided to come with me and... Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't decide anything. You know that. I mean, from... Think of what happened. My heart stopped. I don't know how many times. The disease is back. They have me on a respirator, for heaven's sakes. I mean, what would you have me do? Well, you could try, if you wanted. I thought you were so tough. Oh. I know you. I know what you're doing. You're trying to scare me. Why would I do that? If it were up to me, I would say, come with me, Vanessa. I mean, you're my best friend. I haven't seen you in a very long time. I love you. But I want what happens to you next to be your choice. You and I will be fine if we stay here. No problems, no worries. But the people that you care about, they won't do so well, Vanessa. So I see. No. You just see a little. There's more. Do you want to see more? Yes. Well, we have to go back a little further. said you didn't care whether I killed myself or not. I changed my mind. I don't want your death on my conscience. <laughs> You're so sentimental. Not to mention being a party pooper. Shut up. You know, Matt Reardon's party pooper is a party pooper. Big old party pooper. I said Canada, you can Big get out and walk home. <laughs> you would never do that. Try me. You know why you wouldn't do that? Because that's not the gentlemanly thing to do. You know, you would never let Vanessa's daughter out and 
leave her in the middle of nowhere and get out of the car because it's so not chivalrous. I said can it, Dinah. It's not honorable. I don't want to. You know, I'm actually feeling kind of hot in here. Don't you ever feel that way anymore? Or are you just honorable all the time? Hmm? Don't you miss my mother? Stop it. Sometimes, don't you? Don't you miss this? <laughs> Dinah, you're going to cause an accident. No. Don't be such a chicken. You're so boring. <laughs> Dinah, Dinah, I can't see. Oh, my God, she's going to get the Oh, Matt, Dinah. Oh, my God. So that's what happened, huh? That's why they decided to, to get married. We're going back. So that you can see the repercussions that your death would have. But why does it have to be so terrible? I don't know. I don't have all the answers, but... but Dinah was so... angry and, and, and bitter. And it was as though she were trying to destroy both of them. I don't understand. Then I think we have to go even further back. out right now. Maybe you could take over for a little while. Yeah, sure. Hey, I just got back from seeing our little girl. And I know you said that she looks like me, but you know, I, I really think that she... I thought you said there was no change. There didn't seem to be. Her heart rate's dropping. Go get Dr. Grant. Oh. Run away. Go, go, go. What is it, Rick? What's wrong with her? She's slipping, Matt. Uh, we'll do something. We've done everything we can do. Well, the, well then we gotta do something. We gotta talk to her. We gotta try to pull her out of this. We, we can do it, Donna. Just talk to her. Okay, Just say something okay, to her. Okay, okay, okay. Mother, um, we love you so much. Please, don't, don't go. Don't go. We're right here. But Daddy, you're being too nice to her. You gotta say something to make her mad, make her anger, make her want to fight. Matt, say something I to can't. her. I can't. I can't. Tiny, you can make her angrier than anybody. Now do it. Just say something. Do it now. <clears throat> here you go. Thanks. Anything else? Yeah, I think we will check the menus after all. Great. I'll get a waitress. Thank you. Why are we here? You'll see. Do you see anyone you recognize? No, not really. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, that's Cassie. That's Riva's sister. Is she the waitress? She's the manager. Do you see anyone else? No. Oh. Matt. And Dinah, but... What do they look... What do they look so... <clears throat> Let's have one more, huh? You've had enough. Come on, Matt. We'll have one more, and then we'll Dinah, I didn't here. want to come here in the first place, all right? Just five minutes. It'll be five minutes, pretty please. All right. All right. Five more minutes, and I'm out of here, with or without you. All right. Uh, manageress. Over here. Hello. 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 Now, whatever happened to the customer always being right, man. Well, you know what? It's a bar. It's my bar. You're smug, aren't you? Dinah. You know what? You guys are going to have to leave, okay? You know what? No, that's fine. You, we're going to leave. We're going to leave. We're going to take a little spin in that car, and it's going to be really boring, but I'll tell you what, it's going to be better than sitting in this dump. Let's go, Dinah. You know, this place is a dive. I don't care how extensive a makeover you give it. It's kind of like being a stripper, right, Matt? It doesn't no, matter what kind of a no. dress you put on, you're still a stripper. Let's China. just go. Take her out of here. <laughs> get in that car. I can't stop them. But you have to. There's only one person who can change what's in store for them. It's here, okay? Well, maybe you're wrong. Maybe it doesn't have to work out the way you said it did.
remember um, when, I, when I first came back to town, Mother, how horrible I was. I was a horrible person. I mean, I, I kidnapped myself so that you and Dad would come up with money, and I, I'm still a terrible person. I, um, I haven't changed at all. I, I've done something horrible to you recently, you know, on New Year's Eve. Mr. Reardon. Yes. This is a difficult thing to ask. What is it? Has Mrs. Reardon ever signed an organ donor agreement? No, she hasn't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you upset. It's just... I'm not upset. It's Mrs. just she's not, she's not going to sign an organ donor card. She's not ever going to sign one. She's going to be all right. She's going to be fine. Well, I'm not going to give up. And I don't think you two should give up either. I mean, Vanessa and this baby are going to be okay. They're both going to be all right. I'm not giving up either, Matt. I'm not. You just have to talk to her, that's all. That's Let right. her know we're here, especially you, Matt. Miss Dinah, this being what? You hate me. You hate this place. Why are you here? It's just madcap, unpredictable me, I guess, Cassie. Why? I think I'd get a straight answer from you. You know why the reason I'm here is because I think that your place is the perfect place to celebrate. Celebrate what? Don't play dumb. I mean, I know it's hard for you, but you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Two years ago tonight, hello? No, I really don't know what you're talking about. I think that we, everyone should, here should have a drink. Let's all have a toast, Let's huh? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. This is the night that my life really fell apart. The night that my mother chose to die. Your mother didn't choose to die, Dinah. Yeah, 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 I know. You know what? She gave up a little too easy. She didn't fight very hard at all. Come on, come on. But it doesn't matter because, you know, who's to say that my messed up life would have been any different if she'd left? So. Here's to you, mother. Thanks for leaving me yet again. Too bad you didn't get another chance. <laughs> but that's life. It's a joke. Our crash, the wheelchair, everything, it's my fault. I can't let that happen, I just can't. 